Happy New Year to you guys. This is now 2018, and I like to kick off this year with the tutorial, something I thought was pretty cool or worth sharing with you guys. As you've already seen me do a video of some sort like this, talking about how to get your machine, your, your hardware to control Studio One because it already can control Logic, able to Live, Cubase and things like that, right? And it was always an extra step to get it to work in Studio One. It still is, but there was one step I forgot to show you guys, which makes it even doper, right? So you already know if you hit Shift, MIDI, you, it takes you to, it makes this thing a hardware, a controller all together that controls, you know, it, and you could totally map it out. But this time, I'm going to show you guys how to use machine plugin and still be able to get to your groups and, you know, make music using, you know, the machine as it is. The, the, the glory of using machine as a plugin inside of Studio One and still use the navigation ports to do what you need to. Check this out. Right, stop, rewind. So that means only these become available to us, not even the record. The record is reserved for the machine plugin, but I am happy thus far with this amount of control and still being able to do what I need to inside a machine itself because I if you guys know me it's all about workflow when you are dealing with music production going back and forth is cool but for me it's not I, don't, I hate so I just rather use my mouse and do whatever I need to do inside of studio one because it's I don't know it's just extra thing to worry about but the way you do this is the same process I've shown you guys before Inside of Studio One, you need to make sure that you go to external devices and you're going to add a new a new device and you're going to go to where it says Mackie and you're going to click on control. Now, because I already have this, I'm not going to hit OK, but basically you're going to go here and say um, virtual in, uh, for the MK3, the virtual input and then for to the, the send to will be your output. That will be your other option. I'm not going to do that here because it will knock out what I already have set up. And so once you do that, you have to launch control editor. You guys are familiar with this, with this window, right? And you have to make sure that you have Mackie control here. And if you don't see that, you can just hit this drop down arrow here where it says factory temp. Uh, factory templates and you're going to go where it says make it control and then the the golden button that we did not press last time was the host transport control you want to make sure you check that because that is what gives you the ability to do what you guys just seen me do and as you can see this is what's selected for what we can do. This is pretty cool for me, and I like this workflow. I, I'll take this any day. The only thing that you won't be able to do is obviously uh, toggle between the, the loop inside a machine, and so you will have to go into machine itself and toggle on the loop feature. So th that's the only thing that you'll lose. If you use a machine in order, like I say, in order to turn on and off that, that loop is just by manually clip clicking this here, which I am fine. Like how, how many times do you hit shift loop to activate or deactivate it? And, and that being a part of the workflow, right? I mean, in the beginning, you probably will do that, you know, creating the first four bars, but why would you need the loop inside a machine? You know, just go to machine and turn it off. Just make your scenes reflect to the different situations inside of Studio One. And if you need the loop, use the loop inside of Studio One, right? Because that's what you're doing anyway. If you're going to loop that section, right? Machine will loop with you, which makes great sense 
So losing the loop function is not a big deal. I definitely enjoy that. This is something I stumbled upon last night working on a project. Again, hope this was helpful. Remember, music is art. You the artist. Paint your picture. Now I must finish this beat. Come on. You gotta make some changes to this. Add some things, take out some things, you know.